Hi, this is Lee from the 3D Modeler. And in this video, we will learn how to use the new amazing retopology features in Marvelous Designer 11. So let's get started. Here we are in Marvelous Designer 11. And I have opened my project file and here we have our harem pens which we have created and retopologized in previous videos. And by the way, if you do not watch them, I will leave the link of the videos for you in the description below. But today we will retopologize our high poly model using the new amazing retopology feature in Marvelous Designer 11. We can open the retopology menu from the toolbar of the 2D pattern window. From here, just click on this line and move the retopology menu over here. The retopology menu consists of edit topology, create topology as previous version of Marvelous Designer and the new amazing feature patch topology patch topology allow the creation of an editable patch of polygons with the availability of adjusting the number of subdivision on each segment of the patch so let's start the retopology process by using the patch topology feature and learn how can we use it so Let's start by clicking on the patch topology option in the retopology menu. A patch re topology menu will pop out. Now let's start creating our first patch on this pattern. At any corner in this pattern, start creating our first patch like this. Any patch can consist of three segments like this. I can close my patch like this or four segment like this but not more than four segment now i have created my first patch and as you can see since i have created those pattern using symmetrical pattern with sewing any change i do on this pattern will be automatically applied on its symmetry back to our created patch our created patch consists of four segment as shown Let's select this segment. The number of subdivision on this segment is controlled by the number of subdivision in this menu. So if I increase the number of subdivision here to seven, then the number of subdivision on this segment will be seven. Now I will select the segment parallel to it and increase the number of subdivision also to seven. For this segment, I will go with number of subdivision four and four the segment parallel to it i will also go with number of subdivision four now i have created my first patch and before i press on create topology i will complete the retopology of this pattern by creating a new patch connected to the patch i have already created like this now i will select this segment and start adjusting its subdivision i will go with three for this segment and three for this segment and four for this segment to be equal to the subdivision of the segment parallel to it. Now I have completely covered my pattern with patches and I'm ready to press the create button to create my topology. Now I have created my topology of the first pattern as shown then I will start editing this topology by using the edit topology option. Now I need or I want a uniform flow of polygon around this corner. Therefore, I will start adjusting or editing my topology by deleting this polygon and adjust the position of this vertex. Then select create topology and start creating a new polygon like this. Then back to edit topology. Now I have created a uniform flow of polygon around this corner and I will ad begin to adjust the position of those vertices just to have a uniform flow in the topology. Just like this. Okay. Now I am finished creating my first topology on the first pattern of the leg parts of our herring pads. And as you can see, 
creating my first topology created ghost vertices on the pattern sewn to the retopologized pattern. Those ghost vertices are very helpful in the retopology process. Now let's start the retopology process of this pattern using patch topology. Click on patch topology to open the patch retopology menu and start creating our first patch on this new pattern like this and as you can see i am using our ghost vertices as guide for the creation of my patch now i have created my first patch and i will select this segment and i will increase the number of subdivision to seven and also will select the segment and increase the number of subdivision to seven i will go with number of subdivision four for this vertex for this segment and four subdivision also for this segment and before creating my my topology let's complete the retopology process by creating a new patch connected to the patch i already created and start adjusting the number of subdivision for each segment i will go with three subdivision for this segment and also three subdivision for this segment and i will go with four subdivision for this segment equal to the number of subdivision of the segment parallel to it now i have completely covered my pattern with patch and i'm ready to create my topology now I have created my topology and I will start editing the created topology. First of all, I need to make sure that my topology is covering the whole, the whole pattern to the edges of the pattern. Also, I need to be sure that all the vertices are snapping with the ghost vertices which will ease our life a lot later in the editing process in the editing software i also need to have a uniform flow of polygons around this corner therefore i will start editing by deleting this polygon and adjust the position of this vertices and then create a polygon here like this then a polygon here like this now back to edit topology now i have a uniform flow of polygon around this corner and i will start adjusting the position of those vertices so to have a uniform flow in our topology now i have finished the retopology process of the all leg part of the harem pants now i will retopologize the Bullet, also by using patch topology and st start creating a patch over the pellet pattern like this then start adjusting the subdivision I will go with one for this segment and I will go with one subdivision for this segment for this segment I think I will go with 16 let me check if 16 is the right subdivision yeah it is the right subdivision since the created vertices are all overlapping the ghost vertices in the pattern now i can create my topology now i have finished the retopologizing process of the palette now for the leg cuff also using patch topology will start creating a patch on the whole leg cuff like this then start adjusting the number of subdivision for each segment i will go with one for this segment and also one for this segment and i think i will need eight subdivision for this segment let me check if it is the right number yes it is the right number of subdivisions since all the created vertices are overlapping our ghost vertices then press create to create our topology now we have created 
Now we have finished the retopology process of our high poly model and now we want to create our low poly model so in any empty space in the view port right click and remesh all duplicate now we have created our low poly model then go to the pattern mode and we will move our low poly model down here then i will create a new fabric and sign a new color to it something like green then i will select all the high poly model and will assign the new fabric to it now in the 3d view we can see both the high poly model over the low poly model and if we go to the wireframe we can see that the high poly model is consists of a large number of triangular polygons while the low poly model consists of a few amount of quads this type of uh, low poly model is uh, very suitable as game assets and now in the next step we will export our low poly model to our editing software for me i use 3ds max for editing our low poly model and making unwrapping uv but before we make our export we need to go to the uv editor and start cleaning our uvs in any empty space in the uv editor just reset uv to 2d arrangement then right click again and fit all uv to zero one and press ok now just cleaning our uvs before exporting our model as obj to our editing software now i will export my low and high poly model to my editing software which is 3ds max like a, in obj format and i will see you there now we are in 3ds max and i have imported my low and high poly model add obj in our software now let's start editing our low poly model we will select our low poly model alt q to isolate our model now our model is imported as editable mesh we need to convert it to editable poly so right click convert to editable poly now i will select by element as you can see our model consists of number of separated elements which rep each element represent a pattern which we have created in marvelous design now we need to connect all those elements together by wielding the vertices between them so we will select by vertex and we will select all vertex right click and we will choose weld I will increase the threshold to something like 0.3 let me start by 0.2 and press ok now I will select by border and select all to see if all my seams are closed or not as you can see I have a border here this means that I still have two vertices here which not weld together therefore we need to weld those two vertices together to close this seam so i will select by vertex again select all right click and choose weld and this time i will increase the threshold to 0.3 then press ok now if we select by border again select all now all our seams are closed and borders are located in places where they should be now i have finished editing my low poly model and now i will start checking my model uvs so let's let's create a new v-ray material and i will assign a checker map to the diffusion slot of the material and i will go with 25 by 25 tiling and I will assign the new material to our model. As you can see, there is a lot of stretching in the squares of our checker map. This means that we need to make a new proper 
unwrapping for the UVs here in 3ds Max so let me start by adding unwrap UV modifier to our model and let's open the UV editor as you can see this is the UV I have exported with my model from marvelous designer so I will start by selecting by element so select the selecting the first UV element and I will use the palette option so start palette stop then start relax and commit then the next element start palette relax and commit then I will go with the first leg cuff start palette as you can see here we need a seam in the leg cuff so to make a proper unwrapping for the cuff so I will commit this palette and I will select this edge and will convert edge to seam from here then I will open my UV editor again then select by element I will select my cuff then I will use the palette option again start palette stop then relax and commit and here we have properly unwrapped our leg cuff I will complete the unwrapping for the rest of our model and I will be back soon now I have finished the unwrapping UVs for our low poly model and as you can see we no longer have those stretches in the squares of our checker map this means that we have done a proper unwrap UVing for our low poly model here in 3ds max now our low poly model is ready to be export to the next modeling level the next modeling level should be zbrush to add fine details to our high poly model and project those details back to our low poly model and create displacement map and normal map to our low poly model but our work is done here in 3ds max hope you have enjoyed our video and please if you like our videos like and subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching